yesterday's Negro League baseball players' company. In the late 1800s, in support of the Plessy vs. Ferguson decision, separation of races then spread like gangrene throughout society. There is saying of old that the professional baseball owners had a meeting and concluded that playing with men of color would not be tolerated. They called it the Gentleman's Agreement. Although there's no record to be found of this meeting, but it was said of old. The fact of the matter, history don't lie. This secret decision lasted over 40 years until the reinstatement of men of color back into professional baseball with the signing of Jackie Robinson in 1946. Sad to say this was the start and sudden demise of the Negro Baseball League. Around 1960, this historical pastime just faded into the sunset. Over the past 55 years, the word Negro Baseball became public domain. Billions of dollars has been made on the history and likeness of the word Negro Baseball or Negro Baseball League, if will. Most of that money has never been used to help in support of the men who made this history possible. In 1996, history was made. The yesterday's Negro Baseball Players was founded by Mr. Dennis Biddle, former Negro League Chicago American Giants, and Mr. Sherwood Brewer, the former Kansas City Monarchs. The primary reason for this formulation was to organize the former players and promote awareness and economic support of the then 400 plus men living, along with preserving the true history of this great pastime. Today, less than 65 men of this history are living. Some still have not been compensated financially by the major leagues. After all, the signing of Jackie Robinson was a death blow in the Negro Baseball League. I've been fortunate to have traveled with these great men over the past 15 years, and being the son of Dennis Bose Biddle, 55 years of history has been passed down to me. My lifelong quest is to continue the yesterday Negro League baseball player's legacy, educating the world about the true history of the yesterday Negro baseball player. In helping this cause, I would like to introduce to you the first line of the YNLBP exclusive apparel and merchandise. The foundation of our apparel and merchandise represent education, quality, fashion, and price. It is our hope that you value this historical moment and join our crusade by purchasing the YNL BP apparel and merchandise and in doing so, keeping the true history of the yesterday's Negro baseball players alive. Thank you for listening. Have a blessed day. Hello, friends. This is Dennis Bosfield of the former Negro League Chicago American Giants. I have traveled the world over the past 25 years, educating my young people about the true history of the Negro Baseball League. It is an honor to join YNLBPC and its efforts in ensuring the world never forget the hardship endured and roles we played in making America's greatest pastime and what the sport world is enjoying today. Your participation in the YNLBP fundraising program will in no doubt help in our mission, educating the world about one of the greatest errors in America's sports history, the Negro Baseball League. Have a great day. Thank you.